Hi guys, this is Kelly and today I'm back again with another new video. Today I'm talking about how I clear my acne and I hope I don't jinx it in this video. I hope that after all these tips and tricks on how I clear my acne, I won't get my acne back. But anyways, um, today I'm in this really casual state. I just finished bathing and uh, I have a little rash here. But I was thinking, hmm, maybe I should do a little video for you guys since I'm living in two days time to Korea! Very, very excited. But anyways, uh, on my Instagram, a lot of people ask me about my skin. So I kind of just want to give you guys some tips on how I clear my acne. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so firstly, what I suffered from was I think called uh, comodogenic um, acne. It's actually little bumps all over my forehead my contour line and a little bit on my chin it was so bad like under harsh bright lights especially like MRT or like train lights oh my gosh like I could see the rough textures all over my forehead and it's so ugly I really really was so sad and like I'm so fearful of like acne right now I'm very very scared so and I'm always very very careful with my face the product that I'm using and I do not use my dirty hands to touch my face so yeah okay so let's start with the first tip so I actually got this information from um, YouTube this youtuber called I forgot what's her name, maybe Claudia Saluski or something. But uh, she cut out dairy and oh my gosh, like her skin cleared up in I mean I think two months time. So I think that was really fast. So for me, I don't usually take dairy. I don't usually take cheese or so, like unless it's on my pizza. Um, other than that, I take I take dairy. Okay, for example, maybe twice to thrice in a month. That's really just my max. I don't usually have milk in my house. So yeah, we don't take cereal as well. So dairy is off my list. I don't take dairy. Um, I also do not smoke because smoking actually causes a lot of like unhealthy, bad, harmful stuff to your body. And then alcohol, I have a clean um, detox. I don't really take alcohol anymore. Like this past six months, I literally did not take any take in any alcohol maybe just one two sips but um it wasn't like the past where i drink a lot Shh, okay anyways please don't let my mom see this but anyways uh yeah so i cut out dairy cigarettes and um alcohol i don't usually smoke so that's fine for me and also i think that dieting is very very important because you are taking in you're consuming all this food all this like unhealthy greasy food and then um it kind of reacts your body will react to it so uh sometimes when i get um, a little bit too excited in a party I eat too much sugar or I eat too much like unhealthy food for example um, deep fried food the next day I'll have little breakouts on um, my forehead and I don't know my forehead and my contour line right here it's like like my to go pimple breakout area it's just uh, I hate it okay so after dieting Next is the second tip, which is cleaning your face with tissue. What I'm talking about is tissue box, not the toilet roll, because toilet roll is very dirty. So uh, after I cleanse my face, I do not use towel to wipe my face. I use tissue only. And this is because um, tissue is cleaner than normal towel, unless it's like fresh towels. like out of the laundry i'm okay with putting it on my face but if i use towels in and i you know put it air it in um, my room or in the toilet it catches a lot of bacteria and on my hair please 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 do not use um you know a dirty dirty towel like reuse towel on your face it's really just putting all the bacteria and all the gunk all over your face again yeah like so what's the use of cleaning your face or like cleansing your face? I don't know. Oh my god, I'm getting like really just worked out by the thought of it. Okay, secondly is to avoid abrasive scrubs. So um, on your face, if you have open wounds, if you pick your face and like there is pus over your face or there are like, you know, inflamed, inflamed uh, pimples all over your face, 
do not scrub your face with physical bits. Those little scrubs that has um little rocks or little I don't know what's that called. Um, it's like sand on in in the product, and um, that's really not good for your face because you are actually like for example rubbing rocks or like rubbing salt on your open wound, and it's really just like adding harm to your skin. When you have troubled skin, when you have really red and like pimple, just be super gentle with your face. Like just use all the gentle products. Um, most importantly, do not use abrasive scrub. Physical scrub. Physical exfoliator. Yeah, exfoliator is the word. But you can stick to acid or chemical exfoliator which is AHA or BHA. So AHA is actually a chemical that um, erodes or cleans off um, the dead skin on your surface of your skin. And BHA is one that um, the chemical actually goes into your pores and cleans it. So you can use this kind of um, chemical acid um, to exfoliate your face on alternate days. I think it's really good just to like clean off like the dead skin, the excess oil all over your face. Okay, so um, next is to stick to a skincare routine. Keep it very, very simple. Um, what I want to emphasize is that once you have, I know a lot of people when they have troubled skin, they actually use like all kinds of product because you know it's taking a leap of faith right like you just put on all these things that people say it's good good recommendation all over your face and yeah you're just really adding trouble because all your skin needs is a good moisture good cleanse and um just toner because you just need to like balance your ph and remove the excess um makeup i think i will do like a separate um skincare routine video uh, after this but what i'm saying is that you just need the most basic things remove your makeup thoroughly what i'm saying is that you need to fit you need to remove all every single trace on your face all the makeup that is like on your pores on your i mean like on your eyebrows, everything on your face, clean it off. Remember to use waterproof remover on your mascara, on your under eye, not on the eye, on your lips because you know you want to avoid pigmentation. And then secondly, use like micellar water to clean off every single thing on your face. If you want to be, you know, extra careful, you can go ahead with another uh, round of micellar water. After that, cleanse your face with a face wash. I usually, I don't really have preference for um, face wash because I think face wash is very basic. I use the most basic one. What I'm using right now is the Japanese Senka or Shiseido um, bubble foam. I think that's great and it's only like three to six dollars here in Singapore. And then um, secondly, you just need to tone your face. So you use a toner. Uh, what I'm using right now, it's the Kiehl's um, Colendula Toner. I actually put it into um, this spray. So I just spray it all over my face and then use a cotton wool to wipe off the excess. And uh, other than that, you can go in with another round of like spraying and then just like pat it all over your face. Next up, it's moisturizer. That's your last step, very easy. You can find, um, I think for acne or like troubled skin, I think you should get a gel type uh, moisturizer because I think that will not, you know, have too much oil all over your face and it will not clot your pores. One that I really like, it's water-based and it's gel type would be the Tatcha Water Cream, what I'm using right now. Loving it. And um, it gives me a lot of uh, moisture as well. It hydrates my skin. Other than that, oh my god, this like... Other than that, you can use the Kiehl's um, gel, Ultra Rich gel, gel Cream, the one that I actually recommended. Uh, I will link YouTube video in my description box so you guys can go and see. I love Kiehl's. Kiehl's actually saved my skin. So really happy. Okay, so other than um, sticking to a simple skincare routine, okay, the next tip would be sunscreen. Sunscreen is so important. I know it's damn like cliche I know it's like you know all your moms will tell you use sunscreen but honestly sunscreen is the world really because if you have acne skin and you pop your pimple and there's an open wound you wouldn't want the harmful UV rays to just like penetrate into your pores right you want something to protect um, 
your face with. So what I'm using right now is either the Biore sunscreen on my face. It's very very water based and uh, watery. Easy to like um, apply on your face and it's not greasy. I hate greasy sunscreen and it does not have a white cast. Second one would be my current favourite would be the well, uh, Claire's sunscreen. I think they only have one but it actually has like a white tint on it. Biore very good, love it. <laughs> I've been using it uh, for almost two to three years. It's like the best sunscreen I've ever ever used. If you're going to Japan, you can stock up on it. It's very cheap. I think like seven dollars per bottle. Okay, other than uh, sunscreen, we will move on to removing your makeup thoroughly, double cleanse, or using a facial device. What I'm using right now would be the not Clarisonic, um, what's the other one called? Um, oh yeah, okay, I got it already. It's the For Real device. I think it's a great Christmas gift if you're giving um, anyone for Christmas or their birthday. It's so good, I love it. Cause so a facial device, right? Um, when you cleanse your face, it can cleanse your face up to three to four to, to five to six times cleaner. I don't know like what's the exact amount, but it actually cleans my face really well. I like it a lot. Um, Double cleansing your face. Uh. I think I said it before already. Finish, uh, start off with eye makeup remover, then secondly with micellar water, and a, yeah, and another one, another round of micellar water to clean off all the trays of makeup on your face, um, and then cleanse your face with a normal face wash with the facial device. I think you're good. You're done with that, and um, I think most importantly is to keep your face very clean and then moisturize it with a good moisturizer. That's what your skin really needs. They just need like water, like moisture, hydration. Because if you don't have enough hydration on your face, you will produce more oil. Okay, next tip would be washing your brushes and your sponges. A lot of people use all this um, makeup tool on your face and they usually forgot to wash these brushes and sponge because they're lazy but a lot of people ask me like why do I wash my brushes so frequently on my Instagram because every time I wash it I will like post it on my Insta story. If you have not followed my Instagram just um, the link is here and you can just follow me it's free. <laughs> I mean I'm just updating all my life there. Okay so um, yeah washing them is very very important because every day you're using all this makeup tool on your face and if you don't wash it regularly you're just putting in like your previous day's bacteria on your skin or like you're putting all these little germs like all over your face and do you think you will have clear skin if you put bacteria on your face? So yeah wash your brushes and sponge regularly like what I'm saying is like once a week definitely or like twice a week next up is to never ever touch your face my boyfriend Dylan he loves to touch his face like he's so fidgety he, he needs to like pick his face and I always ask him if you want to pick your face you'll never ever have a clear skin because your hands are so freaking dirty we touch every single thing you touch like the the door, you touch like the floor, you touch like the remote, you touch your phone, your phone is so dirty. Yeah! And then you touch your face with open wound, you're putting like germs again into your face. No! Don't! Okay? That's like my like my worst pet peeve. Don't even touch your face, don't scratch your face, don't like rub like anything on your face. It's not good and you're gonna regret it. Okay, so next up is to wipe your phone screen. Phone screens are like my worst nightmare every time after I call my boyfriend overnight or like I talk to him for like 2-3 hours. My face, if you realise if you ever talk like on the phone for like too long, for so long, like this area will have pimples. That's because your, your phone is so dirty. I usually put like my phone everywhere. And then after that, like, you take it out and you put it near your face. You're putting germs on your face again! So, yeah, definitely, you know, you will have like inflamed um, skin here. So, always, always wipe 
your phone screen. Like I just I just wash everything lah. Since like you know iPhone is now waterproof, so I just like just slap slap on water on it and then just like use a tissue to wipe it. Other than that, if you are very very serious, you can use um paper towels or like wet tissues from uh, restaurants or anywhere. Just clean your phone screen. And yeah, I think that's enough. You just need to clean your phone screen every single day, every single night before you before you sleep. The last step would be be very very strict with your routine, with your surrounding, with everything that you consume and yeah, especially touching your face. Yeah, don't touch your face. Use tissue when um after you cleanse your face, uh do not pick your face, eat well, don't smoke. <laughs> um don't drink too much and yeah I think you're, you're good with all these things if uh, oh yeah wait and one last one is to go for facial I actually went for facial it's kind of like I had nowhere like my last hope was facial I had to resort to that and then uh, my mom told me to go to her facial place and get my face cleaned and oh my gosh uh, we actually signed a package it's called tox pill they usually just put on um chemical all over your face and um they will do like traditional extraction because whenever you have acne it's good to extract it all over because um you want your pores to be clean and there are a lot of like white hit black hit all over your nose and your face so if you don't want clogged pores, you usually have to extract it like that. Um, other than that, they also um, use this super cold machine to um, massage my face. After that, um, it's to minimize my pores since after extraction, you kind of like, you know, squeeze and then like strangle your pores. So you have to minimize them and then um, sue them. And then other than that, they will put on masks for my face and do a full body massage not full lah, like like half body upper body massage which is really reflect bleh, which is really reflect huh which is really relaxing uh, most importantly it's to relieve stress because yeah I mean like another tip is that um, you should not stress yourself out over like your acne because the more you think about it the more like stress hormones you will produce and like the more stress you will be and there will be a lot of like oil glands all over your face and that's not good so don't be stressed be positive be be optimistic i i went through that and i'm sure you can go through all this in no time really fast just follow all these tips and you'll get it and yeah um, I think this is the end of my video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned a tip or two in this video. If you like this kind of video, remember to like and subscribe. Bye!